Did you know that around 70% of people abandon their dreams because of external negativity? So who's really sabotaging your goals and your dreams and your purpose? Tune in and learn how you can stop sabotaged dreams forever and start living the life you've always envisioned. The life that was designed especially for you. Hello everyone and welcome back to Dr. Hester Speaks, a Women of Integrity Ministry channel. Welcome back subscribers and welcome to my new subscribers. Yay! It's so great to be back with you this week. It is a joy to have you a part of the Women of Integrity community. If you're visiting the channel for the first time, please be sure to hit the subscribe button right below this video frame. And please be sure to hit the like button, the thumbs up button, and to comment. Because those three things tell YouTube that you are in favor of this type of content across their platform. And it helps us to produce more content for women. My name is Dr. Hester and I'm a life coach, an educator, a conference speaker, and an author. And this channel is dedicated to developing women of integrity, all for the glory of God. Because we believe His Word that says that He knew you before you were formed in your mother's womb. He knitted together your most innermost parts, and He gave you a divine purpose, a divine passion, and a divine path. And He wants you to know the truth about your God-given identity. And our goal is to help you facilitate your personal development in all of these areas. Today we will discuss shattered dreams, sabotaged purpose. The real reason you're not reaching your goals. You know, Proverbs 13 says, hope deferred makes the heart sick, but the longing fulfilled is a tree of life. Today's topic is dear to my heart because I had a front row seat for much of what we will be discussing today. You see, my dear mother's hope was deferred for most of my life, which began when she was 47. The bad news is I observed a beautiful, smart, talented woman do life with a sick heart. But the good news is that over the years, God put the pieces of the puzzle together for me and allowed me to see clearly to identify the internal and external thief the saboteur that shattered her dreams and sabotaged her purpose. So Proverbs 13 means that when our God-given hopes or desires are delayed or unfulfilled, it can cause feelings of disappointment, sadness, and even despair, which can weigh heavily on the heart and the spirit. However, when our longings are finally realized and fulfilled, it brings a sense of joy, satisfaction, and vitality akin to a life-giving tree. So as we continue, I want you to remember that it's important to have hope, patience, and fulfillment of your God-given desires as sources of emotional well-being and life satisfaction. Perseverance through knowledge of the big picture in the face of delays, setbacks, and knowing that the eventual fulfillment of your hope can bring about great joy and renewal. So today we're going to talk about the real reason you're not reaching your goals. So let's find out how and why this happens. Are you ready? Let's go. So today's specific topics will be components or types of sabotage, recognizing saboteurs, and the importance of setting boundaries. You know, I'm sure most of you have heard of SMART goals. SMART goals must be specific, measurable, achievable, relevant, and time sensitive in order for them to be effective. But sometimes things happen to interrupt what I call the process of progress. Psalms 37 says, take delight in the Lord and he will give you the desires of your heart. Commit your ways to the Lord, trust in him and he will do this. So through a committed life, a delightful and pure heart, let's submit our desire to the Lord today and trust that he will reveal truth in this area.
All right, so now let's talk about sabotage dreams. You know, saboteurs are those pesky situations, people or thoughts that throw a wrench in our plans. Whether it's a friend who doesn't believe in you or whether it's that inner voice of doubt or your mindset, we need to identify these saboteurs and their origin so that we can resist them. The Bible says resist the devil and he will flee from you. We just need to realize that we can do all things through Christ who gives us strength. Now let's get real about the different forms or types of sabotage. Because sabotage can come from anywhere. And it's noteworthy to mention that dreams have been sabotaged and shattered long before you and I were born. So it's good to reference them, to look at the past or the history so that we will not repeat harmful practices. So here are two reference characters from the Bible. In Mark 6, Herodias had a grudge against John, so she manipulated her daughter to dance before King Herod at his birthday celebration. And as a result, the king agreed to do anything she wanted. Subsequently, she requested that John the Baptist's head placed on a platter. This act sabotaged John's ministry and life. And then there was Athaliah in 2 Kings. Athaliah was the daughter of King Ahab, and she sought to kill all the royal heirs to secure her own power. Athaliah made herself queen of Judah, sabotaging the line of David and the rightful kingship. Maybe it's a friend who rolls their eyes when you share your big dreams. Or maybe it's that little voice in your head that whispers, you can't do this. Because let's face it, sometimes we sabotage ourselves. It could even be societal pressures telling you to stick to the status quo. These factors can really derail your aspirations. This is how hope is deferred. This is how the heart becomes sick and how God-given dreams are shattered and your purpose sabotage and goals unfulfilled. When you hear negativity, whether it's a comment or a look, it can make you question everything. And before you know it, you're doubting yourself. You're doubting your dreams, the dream that God spoke into your heart. And that's where the problem lies. Second Corinthians 4 says we are hard pressed on every side, but not crushed, perplexed, but not in despair, persecuted, but not abandoned, struck down, but not destroyed. This means you have the capability, everything you need to keep moving. Recognize these obstacles for what they are, roadblocks, roadblocks that need to be cleared. Then you will be able to see clearly and to consider it pure joy. As James 1 says, whenever you face trials of many kinds because the testing of your faith produces perseverance. So let perseverance finish its work so that you may be mature, complete, lacking nothing. So how do we recognize these external saboteurs? A great first step is to reflect on past experiences. Think about times when you enthusiastically shared your God-given dreams with someone and someone shot them down repeatedly. That, my sister, is a red flag. Also, take a look at your relationships. Are there people who consistently drain your motivation to make you feel less than? And after those encounters, you find yourself depending upon their opinions and depending upon their approval before you feel comfortable moving on with your dreams? Well, it's time to identify those toxic influences in your life. Another challenge is motivation and the thoughts you allow to run through your mind. We all know life gets busy, right? Between work, family, and everything else, it's easy to let our goals slide down the priority list. And some of us waste our precious time because we're trying to live our lives through others. You know, Philippians 4 says, finally, my brothers and sisters, whatever is true, whatever is noble, right, pure, and lovely, whatever is admirable, if anything is excellent or praiseworthy, think about those things. And you see, this takes practice. It takes time. You've got to train your mind to do this. And surrounding yourself with positivity and supportive people can be a game changer in your life. Keep a spiritual note 
Notice I didn't say mental note, but keep a spiritual note of those who lift you up and those who pull you down. This could be the difference between pursuing your dreams and letting them fade away. Now here comes the powerful technique that can really shift your mindset. And it's all about setting boundaries. Yes, you heard me right, setting boundaries. You have the right to protect your dreams. If someone is constantly being negative, it's okay to limit your time with negative people or have a candid conversation about how their words affect you. And let's not forget about surrounding yourself with positive influences. Find those positive cheerleaders in your life who celebrate your dreams with you. This kind of support can empower you to take control of your journey. Remember, when you set the right boundaries, you're not just keeping negativity at bay, you're opening the door for your God-given dreams to flourish. Romans 8 says, and we know that all things work together for good of those who love him, who are called according to his purpose. And so my friends, We've talked about understanding who your saboteurs are and how to combat negativity. We've covered strategies for recognizing internal and external toxic influences. And we've discussed the importance of setting boundaries to protect your God-given dreams. It's all about equipping yourself to pursue God's purpose without the weight of negativity and negative spiritual influences holding you back. John 8 says, you shall know the truth and the truth shall make you free. Whom the Son has set free is free indeed. And that, my dear sisters, would be you. Now, have you ever dealt with saboteurs in your life? Share your experiences in the comments below. Let me hear your thoughts or let me know how you enjoyed the video. And don't forget to check out my other videos on building resilience and pursuing your dreams. Keep dreaming and let's make it happen together through prayer. And my prayer is that struggles with procrastination, fear of failure, even fear of success, doubt and negative self-talk will not hold you back and that your mindset will be continually transformed and that your true potential will be unlocked as you follow your God-given dreams in Jesus name. So again, I appreciate your partnership and for watching the video today. When you subscribe, hit the post notification bell to get a reminder that the video has been posted on YouTube and look for the Micro Monday motivation message to get your week started. I can be reached at drhesterspeaks.com and check out the merch and the Every Woman's Sister t-shirt and other items by Dr. Hester Speaks. In addition to YouTube, connect with me on Facebook, Instagram, X, TikTok, and LinkedIn. So until next time, you stay blessed and keep your light shining. See you next week.